fascinating discussion about the changing face of creative content online and explore the many seismic shifts that this is happening. People who used to make a lot of money from selling music and things like that have shifted to streaming services that aren't giving enough revenue back to the industry as a whole. The issue is out there in the media and people are thoroughly aware that a lot of the time what they're doing is unlawful. I think the question is, do people think it's wrong? What is the elastic limit that everyone is prepared to pay to be a law-abiding citizen who has convenient access to all this aggregated content in the world that we're kind of expecting since the internet? People are good. They, they want to do what's right. It's just they want to pay a fair amount. No, I haven't experience any copyright issues and I don't really uh, do anything to protect it. I kind of accept that if I put stuff on my website people will, will use it. People are consuming content way more than they ever have but digital explosion means people are consuming a lot more free content but that also means that within that there is some great quality content. The indicators are that people are generally more willing to pay for content and younger consumers are more willing to um, are, are leading the charge. They're frequently paying for more content, even though some of them are still downloading it. It's cutting edge information. We've got people actually living, breathing, and working in that industry, and they're providing their experiences from the last week. I think the important thing is a figuring out process of how that distribution occurs. The possibilities for, for creativity and creative content um, uh, for individuals is, is now greater than ever before. Well, I think we've hit a perfect closure point.